Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our brand new stamp set, Veggie Happy and its coordinating dies. We're also going to be introducing our stamp set, Veggie Happy Add-on and its coordinating dies. And this little add-on set is a perfect complement to this adorable Veggie Happy stamp set. Then we'll also be introducing our little farm fence border die. We are so excited to take a look at all of these new products, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to check out the Veggie Happy stamp set, and our little mice are at it again, and now they are gardening veggies, and it is so cute. We have a little mouse with a rake, and then we have these cute little mice with their hats. Oh my goodness, I love it, and they are gardening and planting their little seeds or pulling out their veggies. We have this little guy here who can push this adorable wheelbarrow that we're going to stamp out next. He can also carry a bunch of the veggies too, and here is a look at these cute little veggies. We have this adorable head of lettuce. We have a tomato, of course. Then we also have a super cute little radish or beet or turnip, depending on how you color it in. Then we have an adorable little carrot. And then we have this little kind of plot of soil that you can plant the veggies into, and it is so much fun to use. We'll show you that in just a little bit. We have this adorable tomato plant that just makes me smile every time I stamp it. And then we have a little mound of dirt with a little sprout in it. We have a fence for helping to set the scene, and we also have a plain mound of dirt too, so that you can mix and match it as you create your adorable veggie gardening scenes. We have this little bag of soil here and then we have a bunch of gardening tools that the mice can either hold on to or you can use to help set your scene and we have a shovel or a trowel, a spade, and a little fork that help the little mice plant all their cute little veggies. We have this adorable little worm which is so sweet and then we have this little sign that you can stamp with all sorts of different little words depending on which type of veggies are planted. So we have tomato, carrot, turnip, then we have lettuce, and then we also have radish, and also beets. Then we also have all of these little tiny phrases that the mice can say. So we have, you grow girl, and then we have, can you dig it, which always makes me laugh. And then we have these that are kind of making the sounds of what they're doing. So we have a rake, and then we also have a pat, which is super cute to stamp around the mice. And then we have really great mix and match sentiments. So we have, wishing you a veggie, happy, and then you can stamp either day or you can stamp birthday. So it would say wishing you a veggie happy birthday, which is so, so cute. Or you could even just stamp happy birthday on its own. We also have I love you and thank you, and I totally dig you, which is so super cute. And then some phrases that you can stamp along with those. So, so veggie much. So I love you so veggie much, or thank you so veggie much. And then we have another cute little phrase that can go after any of these phrases, and it's from my head to my toes. So from my head to my toes, <laughs> it's so cute. And then of course we have let us celebrate, which is so fun, and an exclamation point that you can add to the ends of any of your phrases. Now it's time to start adding color to these adorable images, and I'm going to be using my Copic markers to color in these sweet little mice. You can see that I laid down my lightest marker first, kind of deciding where my shadow is going to go before I commit to my darkest marker. Then I added my darkest marker, and I'm blending it out medium to light, keeping it lightest kind of around the edge of his face so it kind of looks like the sun is shining down on him. And I'm going to keep coloring this other mouse in the same way, using the same browns. And I really like these E40 browns for the mice, although I'm going to switch it up in just a second because I think it's really fun to have lots of different shades of mice, brown, gray, etc. on your card. It just looks so pretty. And so there you can see I'm just blending it out dark to light. And now we're going to add some rosy cheeks and also some pink for their ears. And I'll blend that out as well. And now I'm going to move on to some E30 markers for the mouse. And you can see on the first mice I use a lot of different shades. And now here I'm just using three. You could even just use two markers and these mice are going to look amazing because they're smaller images. So that's really awesome too. So here you can see now I'm going to do the 30s and this looks really really cute as well they're so nice and bright and they're just so fun and once again I'm just going dark to medium to light and there you can see I brought in a really light marker because I wanted the face again to look like the sun is shining down on them as they're gardening which I think is just so cute now it's time to color in their little clothes, which is one of my favorite parts. It's such a fun way to add color to cards. You can match the colors of the pattern papers you're using. You could use someone's favorite colors, like if you were making them a birthday card, for example. So there's a lot of fun ways to bring in fun color on these little clothes. I also see some of our design team members use a white gel pen to do things like adding stripes or little polka dots, which is a really, really cute way to color these in too. 
Now these little mice are so much fun and so sweet. And one of the things that I love about our mice is that they all mix and match together. So you can take these mice and mix and match them with any of the mice in your other sets. I think they'd be really cute with the absolutely awesome set or the very special set because those guys are also kind of gardening and planting. I think mixing them together would be absolutely adorable. Now here you can see I added pink to the overalls with the mouse on the left and then I added a little bit of pink to the flower and then a pink belt and then a little yellow apron and I like that they coordinate so well together. I think that's just so cute. And now I'm going to start working on all of my veggies. And I am just in love with this green color palette. So once I had my green markers out, I decided to color everything in that I wanted to color green. So I'm doing all of the tops of the veggies, the lettuce, of course, and then I'm doing the leaves on the tomato plant too. So I think it's really fun once you have your markers out. If you have a bunch of stamped images, color all the green things once you have all of your green markers and then move on to the different colors. Now for the tops of the tomatoes, I used a little bit of a darker green there just so that it's a different shade of green than I had on the leaves of the tomato plant. Now I'm going to go through with my reds here and color in my tomatoes and by adding that little pink in there it gives the tomato the little shine at the bottom which I think is so sweet. I'm going to use some purples and kind of like a creamy color there for the turnip or radish or beet and then also a cute little carrot too. Now for this wagon, I'm going to be using these kind of peachy reddish pink colors. I think it's a really fun way to add color to cards too, is having a lot of fun with the different colors that you can use on this wagon. And then I'll paint the handle in that color, but then I'm going to keep going through and adding some grays there for the kind of handle part of it and the wheel. Now I'm going to start working on the dirt and this, the E25s, those are my favorite for the dirt color. I just think it's just perfect and using that really light color there just gives it that nice little variation and texture on the dirt. And so I'm going to use that same color there on all of the little mounds of dirts that we have with this cute little image. And then we're also going to use that for the bag of soil too. Next, I'm gonna color in the little sign. And for the sign, I like to keep it really light in the middle because I'm gonna be stamping one of those words in the sign. And so by keeping it really light, I'll make sure that I'll be able to read those words in there. For the fence, I'm just adding a little bit of warm gray just to make it feel like it's just a little bit more special than just leaving it white. And then for all of these cute little gardening tools, I'm gonna to be using some cool grays, which always remind me of metal. So we're gonna do that for the metal pieces. And then I decided to use some green for the handles so that it matches the green on the overalls of that cute little mouse. Now it's time to stamp out the Veggie Happy add-on. And so this has a cute little worm that's facing in the opposite direction of the worm in the Veggie Happy stamp set. And then it has all of the little veggies, but with smiley faces. So it has a little smiley face tomato, a smiley carrot, a smiley radish turnip or beet, and then also a smiley little lettuce, which is my favorite one. And then it has these awesome phrases that I am just in love with. We have, it's your birthday. Then we also have, have an upbeat day. Then we have Let's Catch Up. <laughs> that one just cracks me up. And then we have You Are So Radish. I just love these veggie puns. This like makes the whole set, just makes me smile so much. We have Let Us Celebrate. And then we also have I'm Rooting For You, which a lot of the root veggies are perfect for that sentiment. I Carrot Thank You Enough. And also, you mean the worm to me, which also just makes me laugh. And then we have some cute little phrases. We have hooray, which is super fun for the veggies to be saying that. And also, woot. <laughs> and these little phrases are so much fun. And I'm going to go ahead and color in these veggies in a really similar way to what I did before. And what I love about these is you can mix and match them with the plain veggies from the Veggie Happy stamp set. And then you could also use these little phrases then with all of your cute little scenes. And we're going to be showing you that on a bunch of cards in this video. So we're adding some red for the tomato, orange for the carrot, and then that really pretty kind of purpley color there for the radish beet or turnip. And there you can see how you can mix and match these images together. They are just so adorable. Now we have the coordinating dies for the Veggie Happy stamp set, which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. Then you can take those coordinating dies, line them up with your stamped images. You can hold them in place with some low tack tape, run it through your die cut machine, and you'll have beautifully, perfectly cut images every single time. And you can just see how cute that little mouse is. And here are all of the images from Veggie Happy. They are so sweet and fun and so much fun to mix and match together.
And so here you can see how the little mouse with the rake can be raking the soil there. You can have these two little mice working on their cute little plant, and then this guy can hold the wheelbarrow. You can add the tomato plant into the soil, and then you can add all of the veggies into the wheelbarrow, which is just the cutest thing ever. There's also this cute little sign that you can add next to your patch of soil. And then this little guy, while he can hold the wheelbarrow, he can also hold a veggie too, which I think is so cute. Then here you can take all of those fun gardening tools and you can have the mice hold them. You can also stack the veggies up with him holding them and I think that is just such a sweet look like they're all kind of teetering on top of each other. You can keep helping set the scene with a lot of the little gardening tools and that cute little fence and that worm. And then you can see that there's something really cool that you can do with this patch of soil. So here you can see that we have the die that cut out the soil, but there's also this little wavy die. And what that's gonna do is cut those little wavy lines in your stamped image. So you can see we're just gonna line them up right over top of those wavy lines, hold it in place with some low tack tape. We'll run it through the die cut machine and you'll see that now we have these cut lines that perfectly line up with those stamp lines and now you're going to be able to tuck those cute little veggies right inside of there. And here is what that looks like. So you can tuck the little veggies inside and look how sweet this is. Every time I do this, it just makes me smile. I also don't have much of a green thumb. So I love that now I can garden right with my stamp sets. <laughs> so you can see just how cute those look tucked in right there. You can also have the tomato plant tucked in and put all the little tomatoes around. And you can also take the little sign and tuck that into the dirt too, which is a super, super cute look. And look how sweet this is. I am just in love with this. I just think it's just so, so, adorable. I wanted to share a little tip with you. When you get the coordinating dies for the Veggie Happy stamp set, the die cut that cuts the patch of soil actually already has those wavy lines kind of attached inside of it. Now you can separate them like I just showed you, but I actually like to leave the wavy lines in there because now with one pass through my die cut machine, I always get those cute little wavy lines die cut. And I always want them die cut because I always want to stick veggies in there because it's so cute. So that's my favorite way to use this die, but it's totally up to you. You can leave the wavy lines in there or you can separate them out depending on what you're going to be designing. Now here is that little sign that we colored and cut earlier and I wanted to show you how perfectly those little words fit inside. So there you can see I've stamped out the word carrot and how cute is that in the sign. Now next up, we're going to take a look at the coordinating dies for the Veggie Happy add-on stamp set. And you can bend these apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. Then you can take your dies and line them up with the stamped images. You can hold it in place with low tack tape, run it through your die cut machine, and it's going to have perfectly cut out images every time. And here is a look at all of the images from that cute mini set. And here you can see them compared to the other veggies. So you can see we have the plain style veggie and the veggie happy set. And then in the add-on we have the smiley face and then the worms you can see are facing in different directions. And just like the other veggies, you can tuck these veggies into the soil. So you can mix and match plain and smiley veggies or you could have all smiley veggies in the soil. I just think either way is just so adorable and so sweet. And there you can see those cute little worms too. Now we're going to take a look at the little farm fence border die and this little fence is so cute. I love it cut out of white cardstock or brown cardstock and it's the perfect little scene builder. I love it with the veggie happy stamp set but it's super cute with so many other stamp sets too. Now it's time to start creating cards with these adorable images. So we're going to die cut and stamp in color a bunch of images from the Veggie Happy stamp set. And then here you can see we have a cute little sign and I'm going to go ahead and stamp one of the words in my sign and I'm going to be stamping the word tomato. And so a lot of times I'll have these little signs kind of blank at first until I know what my card design is going to be and then I stamp the word inside so that it matches everything. I'm also going to take my white gel pen and add some cute little highlights to the images and I love that it really just helps them pop. I like to follow the little curves of the images and just add little curves and dots to make cute little things. Now this is our brand new paper collection, Rainbow Ever After, and I am obsessed with all these papers, but this one, oh my goodness, isn't it so pretty? It is the perfect sunset and it's going to make the perfect backdrop for our cute little veggie mice. So I'm going to be cutting this down to be four and three quarters square because we're going to be making a square shaped card today and we are recreating a card by Grace. So thank you so much, Grace, for this gorgeous card. I'm also going to go ahead and cut down a piece of cardstock to be a four and three quarter inch card base too. And so I'm going to fold that, just reinforce the fold there with my bone folder. And then I can add some tape runner to that and I can layer that beautiful new pattern paper on top. And oh my goodness, am I in love with this?
The next thing we're going to do is create a scalloped frame and we're going to be starting off with the outside in stitched scallop square stackables and we're going to be die cutting the largest one and then we're going to also be taking one of these stitched square rectangles to help us create a frame. So the first thing we're going to do is run the scallop square through the die cut machine and now you can see you have that beautiful stitch detail and then we're going to take our plain square here and we're going to layer that right in the center and that's going to create a really really fun frame that's going to give us this cool shadow box look that we're going to be going for in this card. So we'll hold that in place with some washi tape there and then now you can see that beautiful frame and how gorgeous it's going to look over that sunsetty paper from Rainbow Ever After. Now next I'm going to cut down some pieces here to be about two inches or so and then one and three quarters. It doesn't really matter the exact height. And then I'm going to take one of these simple stitched wavy borders here and I'm going to be lining it up at the top of these two pieces. And you'll see that one is just about a quarter of an inch shorter than the other. And this is going to be our mounds of dirt. So there you can see I did one on the taller piece and now I'm going to do one on the shorter piece. And I don't know if you guys just saw there, but I had a little helper set of hands there. And that was my three-year-old son, Miles. And he really, really wanted to make a card for the video. So I just had to share it here. He did some cute inking at the top for his sky. And then he added all of his images. And this set is his favorite set, I think, ever. He has made so many cards with it. He loves the images so much and thinks it's so fun to play with all of the veggies. And you can see he's adding some fun color and just having the best time. And thank you so much for indulging me and looking at his fun card he wanted to show it right up to you guys and see how much fun he has with the stamp set and now I'm gonna have a bunch of fun with it and I'm gonna start working on these little dirt mounds and I'm layering some sugar cookie ink all over them and then taking dough ink and layering it over top. I layered the dough ink the darker brown a little bit darker towards the top and let it go light towards the bottom and now you can see how these pieces are going to line up and create a cute little place to add our adorable little veggie happy mice. So right now we're gonna be layering this ground right behind the frame. So to do that, I'm just gonna flip my frame over and then add some tape runner there just along the bottom in kind of like a U shape. And then that way I can attach that cute little dirt mound there. And I'm gonna start off by creating this part of my scene and then I'm gonna kind of build my scene back to create this shadow box look. And so we're gonna add some tape runner to the back of these cute little images and I'm gonna start layering things into the scene. So I have my little mound of dirt there with the cute Cute little sprout coming up and then we have this girl here who's tending to her garden which is just so sweet we're gonna give her one of the cute little gardening tools that she's gonna hold and then we can add another one of those little sprouts so she's working hard on her garden and then I'm gonna layer a cute little carrot right there too then I'm gonna start creating more of my scene here by using some of those fun scene builders that are in the set with the bags of soil and then that shovel there. And then I'm gonna take another bag of soil and just kind of tuck it under the frame. So it just kind of helps make look like the scene just kind of keeps going, which I think is really sweet. And then we're gonna add one of those little worms in there. That worm is just the perfect cute little filler that just makes me smile. We've got the guy here, the little mouse with the rake, and then he's got the plain dirt that he's raking there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bunch of foam squares to the back of this whole scene. And then we're gonna layer the next part of the dirt. And so that's gonna create this kind of cool shadow box feel where we're gonna have some height behind that. So you can see we've added our foam squares to the back and now we can just layer it right on top of that dirt where it kind of looks good and press down. And now you can see that awesome dimension that we have there. Now, before I kept going, I wanted to make sure to stamp the sentiment. So I'm putting my square shape card base into my Misty tool. I'm just gonna layer that frame over top. I'm not attaching it just yet, but it's gonna be there kind of as a placeholder so I can see exactly where to line up my sentiment. Then I'm gonna be stamping thank you so veggie much, and I'm just eyeballing it there so it's in the center. Now I can move my whole frame piece out of the way and then pick that up with the door of my Misty. I'm gonna ink that up with some black licorice ink and then stamp that down onto this beautiful sunset paper. Oh my goodness, it's just so gorgeous. And then I went ahead and just put the frame over top just to make sure I liked how it looked and I think it's looking awesome. So now we're gonna start working on some more foam squares. This is a very foam square card because that's what's gonna give us the really cool shadow box look. So we're gonna add a whole nother layer of foam squares to the back of that soil. And then we're gonna add some double stack foam squares all over the frame. And that's gonna give us a ton of height that's gonna make the card looks so cool. 
Then we can peel up the liner paper on all of these foam squares. I went kind of foam square happy. I'm not sure I really needed that many of them, but I don't, that happens to me. I just keep adding lots of foam squares. And then we're gonna layer that right over top, that beautiful sunset paper. I just think it's so pretty. And I love how it peeks out of the edges of the frame. I just think it's just so gorgeous and so much fun. And so now we're gonna take the little farm fence border and we're gonna die cut that out of some white cardstock and we're gonna be layering it in the back. And you can see that I cut it a little bit too big. So I just kind of laid it over the frame and trimmed off any of the excess. And then I'll add some tape runner to that and then layer that right in the background. And I think it looks so cute. And I love how it coordinates with the white frame and it kind of looks like it's almost a part of the frame too. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start layering in some of my pieces. So in between the dirt rounds, we're gonna layer in some little heads of lettuce. And then we can start to add in some tomato plants. And these are gonna go all the way in the back there. So I'm gonna add the tomato plant and then that cute little sign that we stamped earlier with the tomato word. And then I'm gonna start working on my wheelbarrow here. So I added some tape runner to the back of the wheelbarrow and the back of the veggies, and I'm gonna layer them right into the wheelbarrow. And I think it just looks so cute. And I love that it's all the different veggies because it adds a lot of fun color. And there you can see how the mouse is gonna hold the wheelbarrow. And I'm just placing them there as a little placeholder so that I can add my last tomato plant there in the background. And then I'll add some foam squares to the back of the mouse and the wheelbarrow, and then I can layer them into the scene. And I just think it's so cute. I just think they're just so adorable. And it's so much fun to layer all of these little pieces and create cute scenes with these cards. And now here you can see the awesome dimension that there is. By adding all of those layers of foam squares, it really does look like a little shadow box. And it was so much fun to make and kind of layer in all of these cute little veggies and things. Oh my goodness and I love that the pattern paper created the perfect background. Now that we've made a thank you card with this set, I wanna make a birthday card with it. And so I've gone ahead and stamped and colored and die cut these cute little patches of dirt. And I also die cut the little wavy lines too, like we did earlier so that I can tuck in a bunch of cute veggies. And so I went ahead and stamped and colored and die cut a bunch of veggies from the Veggie Happy Stamp Set. Then I'm also gonna take out the Veggie Happy add-on stamp set and I went ahead and stamped and colored one of the carrot and that little radish and also the lettuce so that I'll have one little veggie in my pile of dirt that's gonna have the smiley face, which I think is a super, super cute look. When I'm adding veggies in to the little patch of soil here, I like to flip everything over and add adhesive to it. So I'm gonna add some tape runner to the back of the soil, but I'm also gonna add tape runner to the back of the veggies too. And this will make sure that everything kind of holds in place as I tuck them into those cut lines. And look how cute this is with the little carrots in there. I just can't with how adorable it is. So we're gonna put three in the back there, and now we're gonna add some more carrots to the front. And what I like about this is you could have them sticking out more like we did in the back, or you can really kind of push them down into the soil so it looks like they're just peeking out. And so that's what we're gonna do in the front, except for the one with the smiley face, and he's gonna be kind of popping out the most. And then you'll see that some of them are kind of sticking out of the bottom of the soil because I really tucked them in there. So all you need to do is just take your scissors and trim off any of the excess, and now you have the perfect little garden of carrots. So now we're gonna start repeating the same thing with the other styles of veggies here. So now we have all these little heads of lettuce, and we're gonna start tucking these in as well. And what looks really cute is you could kind of have them more separated or you can layer them too so that it looks like a really really full garden and I think this is just so sweet and right now we are recreating a card by Maureen so thank you so much Maureen for this super cute design and then last but not least we're going to tuck in all of the radishes so just like we did before we're going to layer some in the back and in the front and they look so super cute I love that just one of the little radishes is smiling I just think that's the sweetest thing and now that we have our cute gardens all ready, we need to start making some signs so that we can identify what everything is. So we're gonna be stamping these signs out here onto some white cardstock, and then we're gonna stamp the phrases that are in the stamp set. So there's all different little phrases. So we're gonna stamp out tomato and lettuce, and then we're also gonna stamp out carrot and radish. And this looks so cute. I'll add some color to these and then die cut them. And here you can see all of these cute little signs and how sweet they look next to our little garden patches. 
I've also gone ahead and stamped and colored and die cut a bunch more images from the set. And we're gonna put all of these aside for now because we're going to be using the peekaboo backdrop to create some cute little kind of areas to create our scenes in. So here is the peekaboo backdrop and we're gonna be die cutting that out of some wood grain cardstock. And I love this die so much because it gives you almost like four little scenes that you're gonna create and that's what we're gonna do here. And then for our sky, we're going to go to the Rainbow Ever After pack again, and then there's this really gorgeous turquoise tealy colored stripe piece. And I love the stripes because you could either use them horizontally or vertically, and in this case we're going to use them vertically behind this peekaboo backdrop to give us our sky. Now I wanted this to kind of have a fun shadow box feel again. I'm really feeling the foam strips and foam squares lately. I just think it looks so cool. And so I layered a bunch of these foam strips on the back of the backdrop, and then we can peel up the liner paper and layer that right on top of our pattern paper. And this is gonna give us our four little scenes that we get to decorate with Veggie Happy. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna feature a different veggie in each one of these squares or rectangles. And the first one is going to be these adorable little carrots. The other thing that I really love about the frame is it's almost kind of serving as our ground for each of our scenes too. So now we've added that cute little mouse who's tending to her carrots. And then I love this little fence that comes in the stamp set too because it's such a cute little scene builder. And now we're gonna add our radishes there. So we're gonna layer those right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and start adding the sign and then layering in more cute decorative items so that we have this cute little scene forming. And that's why I love all of the little tools and everything because it really just helps make the whole scene. I mean, look how cute that is. So now we're gonna start working on our next one here and we're gonna be working on our lettuce. So we're gonna add some more tools on that left-hand side, which kind of balances out the right-hand side. We're gonna add our lettuce and the sign for them too. And then we're gonna add another one of those fences there which once again just you can just feel this whole scene like I can feel like I'm in this little mouse's garden. We're going to add our cute little mouse that has the rake and he is going to be working on his tomato plants. So here I wanted to show you how you can tuck the tomato plants into those little uh, die cuts there that we have in the soil as well. So you can do the veggies but you can also do the tomato plants which I think is such a cute look. And so in this case we're going to layer three tomato plants and then add that there and then we're just going to add the sign of course and then some little tomatoes in the soil as if they've kind of fallen off the plant or they're ready to be harvested. So we're just going to layer those on the bottom and of course we're going to add one with the cute little smiley face from the add-on. To add more cuteness to the scene, we're going to use the little worms. So we're going to be using both the worm from the add-on and from the Veggie Happy stamp set. So they're facing in different directions. And we're going to be layering these guys onto the signs and I think it's just such a cute little look and there's something about it that just makes me smile. So now that we have all of our little scenes created, I wanted to use a brand new stamp set to help me give them some words that they're saying. And so this set is called All the Speech Bubbles, and I love it because it has all the speech bubbles. It has them all in different sizes, and they fit all those little tiny phrases in Veggie Happy or a lot of different Lawn Fawn stamp sets. And so I love that I can go to this set and find the perfect speech bubble to fit these super cute phrases. So here I'm gonna stamp out a bunch of these little speech bubbles, and then I'm gonna find phrases in the Veggie Happy add-on on here that are going to fit perfectly into the speech bubbles and I love these puns so much so I'm so excited to use them on a card. So we've got the let us celebrate, you are so radish, we're going to do the hooray there and then we're going to stamp a little heart that's actually from this uh, carrot about you add-on which is another new stamp set, it's a little sneaky peek there and we're just going to go ahead and add that heart in. Then I'm gonna die cut all of these speech bubbles and I also used a warm gray marker to kind of line the inside just to give them a little extra special look and we're gonna start adding these into the scene. And these are just so cute and sweet. Once you add these, I feel like it makes the whole card because it's just adorable. And my very favorite is the Let Us Celebrate. I just can't, it's just so adorable. And right here, I realized I forgot one of my little worms and he is going to be saying hooray, which is so super cute and so perfect for a birthday card. So the next thing we need is our birthday sentiment. So we're gonna take out some sticky note paper here. It's this beautiful yellow color. And we're gonna die cut that with a wavy banner. And then we're gonna be doing some heat embossing. So we're going to be stamping out the sentiment, uh, have a veggie happy birthday. And we're gonna stamp that right on to this banner with some clear embossing ink. We're gonna sprinkle on some heat embossing powder and then heat it up with the heat tool to have this nice bright white shiny sentiment. And then we can take that whole wavy banner and layer it right onto the card. And we're going to add it at kind of an angle like this, which I think is such a super cute look. 
Here we have a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter, and we're gonna layer this whole cute quadruple scene card right onto that card base. And look how adorable this is. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I just love those little gardens. And here we have a brand new washi tape, and we are gonna layer that on the inside. This year, I have kind of made a resolution that I wanna decorate the insides of my cards more, and I think this is such a cute way to do it, and I love that this washi tape is the perfect match to the theme of the card. So I'm just gonna layer some at the bottom here and then I'm just going to trim off any of the excess and how cute is that so when the recipient gets the card they're going to have this cute little surprise of more smiling veggies on the inside I just think this is so adorable and this card was so much fun to make I can't tell you what a joy it is to create these super cute little gardens it just makes me smile every time so next up, I wanted to create a clean and simple card with this set. So I'm taking out the All the Speech Bubbles stamp set again, which I love this set so much. And I'm gonna stamp out these two speech bubbles that are ovals with the little point going in different directions because I'm gonna have two little mice talking. And I'm gonna stamp out some of the sentiments there from the Veggie Happy add-on. So I'm gonna stamp out, I care it, thank you enough, and also you mean the worm to me, which is one of my favorite phrases in that set. I'm gonna take a light blue marker and just line the inside of the speech bubbles a little bit just to give them a little definition then I can line up the coordinating dies and then I'll hold them in place with that cute happy veggies washi tape and then run them through the die cut machine and have perfectly cut out speech bubbles. Then next, we're gonna work on kind of the background for this card. So I'm gonna be using the Rainbow Ever After paper again, and then there's this yellow stripe in there that I am just in love with. And I'm die cutting it with the largest of the large stitch rectangles, which will make it five and a half by four and a quarter inches. Then I'm also gonna die cut a piece of plain white cardstock as well with that same die. The white cardstock is gonna end up being where I'm gonna create my scene. And so I'm gonna trim down part of it to be two and a quarter inches. So you see, I'm just gonna trim off the top um, that way I have the nice stitching on either side, but not along the top and the bottom. And so I love that the stitching is gonna match up between two of the pieces and it's gonna give me a really great area to create my scene in. Now I'm gonna take out some cute images that I stamped, colored, and die cut from the Veggie Happy and Veggie Happy add-on sets. And what I'm gonna do is start planting my garden again. So I'm gonna be adding in these cute little veggies. And this time I'm doing a bunch of them with smiley faces, which I think is so sweet. I'm gonna layer the ones with three smiley faces in the front. And then I'm actually gonna be layering one of the signs into the soil, which I think is a super, super cute look too. And then we'll add one more carrot for the back just to kind of help fill in the scene. I like to lay out my scenes first and just kind of see what it's gonna look like. And at this point is when I realized that maybe I didn't need quite two and a quarter inches. So I went back and trimmed it down to two inches. And I like to do that. I like to kind of leave a little bit of extra space so it gives me the option and I can easily go and trim a little bit more off and then start creating my scene. I'm gonna be adding foam squares to the back of all of these images so that everything has a nice pop on this kind of clean, bright, and simple card. So I'm gonna layer my cute little carrot garden right there in the center, and then my little mice are gonna be tending to their garden. Then I'm gonna start layering in our cute little speech bubbles. And I'm gonna have the speech bubbles overlap, which I think is such a super cute look. So I was kind of playing around with how they might look. I wasn't quite sure, and now I realize if I kind of brought that one down, uh, that just looks adorable. And then to fill in the right and left sides, we're gonna add the cute little worm, which goes along with our fun pun, and then one of those cute little gardening tools. Then I'm just gonna add some tape runner to the back of this whole piece here, and then I'm gonna layer this right onto the card. And what I like about this is this is just a fun layout that I could do with a lot of different stamp sets or a lot of different Veggie Happy cards with different types of sentiments. But in this case, I've been eating some thank you cards lately, so I wanted to make another thank you card, and the thank you so veggie much is just so cute. I'm gonna stamp that out in some black licorice ink, and then I'm gonna use a sentiment banner here to die cut it. My sentiment banner was a bit too long, but that's not a problem. I'm just going to run it through the die cut machine lined up with the left side and now I'm just going to line up the right side there so that there's an even space between both sides. And once I have that all lined up with the back of the die and lined up there on the right side, I can hold it in place with some low tack tape again and run it through the die cut machine one more time. And that's going to give me a perfect custom cut banner to be the size for my thank you so veggie much sentiment. Then all I need to do is flip it over, add some tape runner to the back, and then layer that right underneath the cute scene. 
Next, I'm gonna take a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. We're gonna add some tape runner to that and then layer the card right on top. And I love this card so much. It was so much fun to make. The little puns make it so sweet and I love how bright and happy it is. And for a little finishing touch, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my envelope and I'm gonna be using the new Happy Veggies washi tape to seal the envelope so that everything is so nice and coordinated. So here you can see just how cute this is. I just love it so much. I love when there's a washi tape to perfectly match my adorable card. Next up, Shari is gonna create the most adorable tomato theme card using another brand new die. So take it away, Shari. So on my card, I'm using the Happy Veggie Mice and some images, but I'm also going to use this little Yay Mouse from You Autumn Know. I've already colored and cut out my images with the coordinating dice. I'm also using the little farm fence border, which I have cut from some white cardstock, and I'm sitting this to the side with my dies. And then to create my scene, I'm using some seafoam spiffy speckles paper, and I'll cut this with the largest of the stitch rectangle stackables. I'm also using that same stitch rectangle stackable die to cut a piece of a craft card stock. This will be my ground and I have it much higher than I need it to be, but I'm going to kind of figure out where I need to trim this down. And I decided to trim it off at two inches. It's always better to have a bit more in case you want to trim it down, but you can't always make it bigger once you've cut it too small. I'm pulling out that tomato from the Stitched Garden Veggie die set, and I'll be cutting this tomato from three different colors of cardstock, guava, fake tan, and sunflower. And then for the top of the tomato, I will cut all of them out of cilantro. So I've cut all of my tomatoes out here, but I do want to cut a little face into one of them. I'm cutting the little winky face that comes in this die set out of the guava tomato. This one will be on the top of my stack of tomatoes. And I'm just going to hold this in place with a little bit of removable tape and run that through my die cut machine. And I have this cute little face. Now to add some definition to my die cuts, I am going to use a little blending brush and add a little bit of inking. I did start to put that on the bottom, but I decided that it would be better to ink the top of these die cuts. So I'm inking the top of each of the toppers so that the top is darker in that little stem. It makes those little die cut details stand out a bit more as well. Once I have all of these inked, I'll just clean off my mat and move on to my tomatoes. So for the fake tan cardstock tomato, I'm using pumpkin spice. And for these, I'm dusting the bottom of my die cuts to create a shadow. For the guava tomato, I'll use raspberry ink. And then for the yellow sunflower tomato, I'm using number two pencil. And this will just add some more dimension to these die cuts. Now for my ground, I am adding some walnut ink around the edges with my blending brush. This will darken up this brown color and make it look a little more like the dirt in our garden. And I'm just going around all four sides and then pulling that a little bit down into the middle. Now I do need to add a little bit of cardstock behind the face of this tomato. So I just have a little scrap of storm cloud cardstock that I'm just going to cut down. And then I will layer this behind the face with a little bit of liquid glue. And now I have a cute little winking tomato. While I'm assembling my tomato, I'm just going to go ahead and add the tops to all my tomatoes as well so that all these pieces are put together. So I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue right kind of to the center because part of that top is going to be off of the die cut behind it. I think it's kind of cute that the topper goes down onto the face of that one tomato. It almost looks like his bangs are down covering his eye. Now to move on to my sentiment. I'm using the sentiment in this set that says, I love you from my head 
tomatoes, <laughs> which I just think is really funny. So I'm lining these two up, stacking the I love you above the smaller part of the sentiment, and I'll just pick this up with an acrylic block and stamp this in some black licorice ink close to the bottom of my garden soil here. And you'll see that this is why I made that craft piece a little bit taller so that I have enough space for my sentiment below my tomatoes and my images. I am going to go ahead and put my Spiffy Speckles panel onto a card base so that I can start to build my scene. So I've just added that with a little bit of adhesive runner and I'll do the same with this craft piece and just line this up along the bottom. And now we have that fun stitching detail that goes around all four sides. Next, I'm going to add my little farm fence and it actually fits perfectly to where I'm going to have a vertical post right along each of the sides of my card. So I've just added some liquid glue to that and I'll pop this onto the top of that craft cardstock and then I'll just trim off the excess that's overhanging the side of my card. Now to stack those big tomatoes, which I think are so fun with the little mice. So I stacked them two on the bottom and then of course my little smiley one on the top. And then I'm using thin foam squares to add these to my card. So they will have a little bit of dimension, but not as thick as if I used thick foam squares. I'm using some thin foam squares on the back of my little yay mouse as well. He sits up on top of this top tomato, which I just think is so much fun. And then I'm doing the same with my other tomatoes, just adding one thin square to the back of each of these. This way, when I add my mice that are layered on top, I can add a regular thickness foam square and get two layers of dimension. So for instance, this little mouse here, I'm going to use a thick foam square where she overhangs off the side of the tomato and a thin foam square under her head where it overlaps. But this just adds some extra dimension. I'll do the same with my little mouse with the rake. And I like how these two kind of frame up that giant pile of tomatoes. Now I can move on to all my little accessories that I stamped to kind of fill in my scene. I really like these smaller tomato plants kind of peeking out from behind the big tomatoes. And I colored them in colors that match the cardstock of those die cuts. I also have three little single tomatoes that I also colored in the same colors to match the big die cut ones. I'm adding one to the little mouse's hand that's sitting on top and he has a garden spade as well. I will add one to the mouse on the right and she has that little rake. And then I will add the third one to the mouse on the left. And I like to have things in three. So I have three giant tomatoes, three little tomatoes, and then the two little tomato plants also have three tomatoes on them as well. I can't forget this cute little worm and I decided to add him to the top of this one like he's crawling down. And then my little sign doesn't have anything on it right now. I do need to stamp the word tomatoes, which is also in that veggie happy stamp set. So I'll just pick that up with a block and stamp that in some black ink right in the center of that sign. I also think it's really funny to have these little mice with this little bitty garden sign, but those tomatoes are so big. It's like the giant vegetables that you see at the state fair. And here is my finished card with those cute little mice gardening those big giant die cut tomatoes. I also love that cute little smile on that one as well. Oh my goodness, Shari, this card is so cute. I love the tomatoes so much. And speaking of tomatoes, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And this one by Tammy just makes me smile. I love how she used the die cut letters and her cute scene is just so sweet. This card by Megan is just adorable. I love how she has the fence in the grass and the cute little carrots and the worm in the center of the card. And then this adorable gardening scene by Elena is just so sweet. I love all the little mice tending to their gardens. And I love that so many of the team members were inspired by our super sweet I love you from my head to my toes. <laughs> and this card by Elise is so sweet and I love the slimline size. 
Audrey's scene is so adorable and I love how she used the little farm fence border in the back. It just looks so great there. And then here's the card by Grace that inspired us to make ours today and it's so beautiful with those gorgeous sunset colors. This scene by Callie is just so sweet. I love how everyone's working together. It's just adorable and looks like the most inviting garden. And then here, I love how Lynette used this four square backdrop to have four little scenes. It's absolutely adorable and I love the sentiment too. This card by Mindy is so gorgeous. I love her stenciling and how she brought in some favorites like You Goat This and Hey There for some cute scene builders for her farm scene. And then Melissa shows us that these images are perfect for layouts too. How cute is this with all of her beautiful pictures? This card by Maureen inspired us to make ours today and it is just so much fun. I love all of her little scenes. And then this card by Leticia is so adorable. I love how she used an oval to kind of feature all of her cute little veggies. So we cannot wait to see what you guys create with Veggie Happy, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.